If you happen to be driving through Israel's Negev Desert, you may come across a spectacular sight. A carpet of bright red glass panels glistening in the sun against a backdrop of pink sandy hills. Driving up close to this mysterious vision, you will find yourself inside a state-of-the-art plant. Its purpose, to grow this algae, called Hematococcus pluvialis, in order to add it as food colorant to salmon fish. Nowadays, most salmon are grown artificially in freshwater pools in similar conditions to those seen here. These farm salmon are given only synthetic animal feed which doesn't contain astaxanthin, the red pigment present in the food they naturally find in the sea. Without it, the fish's flesh is almost white. And so, growers add artificially produced astaxanthin to the fish's food. Almost all types of farm salmon grown today are tinted with this chemically produced pigment. Professor Sami Busiba of the Jacob Blaustein Institute for Desert Research has now found a source of astaxanthin that is healthy, safe, and all natural. The Hematococcus pluvialis algae. During 10 years of research, Busiba and his team took advantage of a basic desert condition, high radiance coming from the sun all year long. First, the algae are placed in shakers, which accelerate their growth process. Soon it is time to move them into roomier quarters, where temperatures are cool and food is plentiful. Within days, the algae have become a thick, dense culture. They are then moved outside, where they quickly turn brown under the scorching desert sun. This is because they are denied nourishment and exposed to extreme heat, with the glass panels acting as a hothouse. After a few days, the brown algae turn a dazzling red, indicating the natural astaxanthin inside them emerged. It is time to harvest and dry the red algae. As the machine drains out the water, all that are left are red flakes of natural astaxanthin. Professor Busiba's patent method was the basis for this impressive new plant located in Kibbutzk Torah. For a scientist dreaming in the lab, playing with few tubes, to come and to see something big like that is really a dream come true. Built at a cost of several million dollars by Algatech, a biotechnology company, the plant produces 20 ton of microalgae a year, yielding 500 kilos of pure pigment. Orders are already in place from fish growers in the US, Japan, Sweden and more. And so the Hematococcus pluvialis algae begins its journey from Israel overseas, perhaps to a supermarket near you.